Hi everyone, my name is Brianna and today I thought I'd try something different and instead of offering you a yoga class today, I am going to answer some questions. So on my YouTube channel, I asked a question and had an ask me anything and I'm going to take um, a little bit of a blog series to answer some of those questions and give some more details as to what it's like in the day of a yoga instructor, a yoga student, an online yoga teacher, and answer all of the questions that, that you have for me. So this is going to be ongoing. You can ask your questions anytime and I'll be happy to answer them. So to get started, the question for today is about creating a online platform or a YouTube channel and what you need as a yoga instructor to get started. Also helps to answer questions about how much it costs to get started, what type of items you need, um, and overcoming some of the hurdles of that. So to answer the first question of what it requires to create a online um, yoga teaching, so specifically with YouTube, it's actually, the nice part about YouTube is that it's free. So it costs zero dollars to create a YouTube channel. It costs zero dollars to um, get the video onto the channel. So the nice part about that is that um, you, it, it's really easy, really easy to just, or it's, it's, accessible in the sense that it doesn't cost anything um, for the actual service or platform itself. So that part's really nice. Um, I also offer um, classes through Zoom and that's a little bit more expensive. So if you're having more than one student, then you have to pay to be able to have a class for longer than 40 minutes. And I think I was paying $20 a month right now, um, Canadian, to be able to offer um, classes through Zoom. So that is the platform service itself. Um, in terms of materials, so when I'm creating a YouTube video, right now I'm just using my iPhone to record the videos. And so, I, I mean, an iPhone's an iPhone. It costs as much as a regular iPhone would cost. Um, and then to hold the iPhone, I bought a tripod and the tripod itself was about $25 not the best tripod. It's a little bit broken because I've had it for two years and I probably need um, another tripod soon, but it does the job for now. A little bit finicky, um, but in the future, I'll probably need another one in the next few months. Um, and the only reason why it doesn't work, it wasn't, um, doesn't work right now is because I was super impatient with it um, and trying to force it in directions that it, it didn't want to go on without loosening the gears. Um, so that's definitely my bad. So tripod is relatively easy. Um, sometimes if I can't find the tripod in the house, I'll try to get creative and I'll use like little candles or heavy weights and stack puzzles on top of each other to create some height and then um, create some sort of backing that the camera can just lean up against um, rather than buying another tripod right away or trying to find it because sometimes I'm just improvising. Okay, and then once the video has been filmed, on my iPhone, then I transfer the video onto my computer. I have a Mac and I do all of my editing in iMovie. It's not sophisticated, it's very basic. And again, iMovie came on my laptop. So um, it's great for now, it's very easy to use. Maybe in the future I would be investing in some more better um, video software, but for now I'm just keeping it very basic. So iMovie tends to do the trick. So that also is just included with the Mac. Um, and then to keep all the videos, I like to be very organized. I always want to make sure that I don't delete anything ever. So I also have an external hard drive. I think I have a terabyte of data and it costs $80 for one terabyte. And I think right now um, it just has YouTube videos and it has a backup of my laptop on it. So I think it's using like 300 or 400 gigs right now. Um, so it's not even halfway full. So it's it's good for now. Um, and then yeah, we'll see, we'll see where it goes, but uh, that's kind of probably optional depending if you want to keep a hard copy of your videos um, after they've been uploaded um, to YouTube, if that's, if, if that's the vibe that you're going for. Um, rather than just streaming live classes. So if you're editing videos, that's what I'm using. 
Okay, and then to create the little photo um, that goes for the YouTube thumbnail, I use Canva. And again, I'm not paying for the premium version of Canva at this time. I just have the free version um, and I just create a thumbnail in Canva and upload it there to make it look all pretty. So again, that is free. And I also include in each of my yoga videos a Spotify playlist. So I create a new playlist for almost every class on YouTube. Um, and then I use them in my live classes and just for personal enjoyment as well. Um, so I personally, I use the family account. I share it with my partner. Um, and I believe right now Spotify costs around $15 a month if you have a shared plan. Um, so I use that and no complaints. I've been using Spotify for five or six years now and it's been really easy. Um, and you can download the songs without needing to worry about ads, especially when you're playing um, in studio when potentially the, you might not have access to the Wi-Fi. So Spotify has been um, my music player of choice. And then lastly, to um, practice, I use my yoga mat. Um, I have a variety of yoga mats. Personally, I use the B mat, the Lululemon mats, and I have a few other mats as well, but those two are my favorite, the B mat and the Lulus. Um, and those mats can range, I think, uh, regular price is around $78 to $88 for each of those. Um, but you can use any mat that you want, obviously. Um, and if you are a yoga teacher looking to create your own channel, then you get a discount with Lululemon. So would definitely recommend using that um, if you're a certified yoga teacher to buy your products. And then for the props, my props are almost exclusively Half Moon props. I love Half Moon. Um, they're a local Vancouver brand, which is where I'm from. And yeah, they're my favorite beautiful yoga props. We'll never stop using them. They're honestly the best. And those props can range in price, um, depending on what you're looking for. Right now, the props that I use are blocks and a bolster specifically. Um, and then every now and then I like to use a strap and then an eye pillow for Shavasana. And those are totally up to you, up to your preference um, for those props as well. All in all, not 100% sure how much that costs, um, but it's relatively cheap. We have the terabyte um, external hard drive, the tripod, and the uh, Spotify music subscription. So um, yeah, that's been pretty good. And then on my two ad list, things that I would like to be um, adding to my online teaching repertoire, I guess. Um, I would love to get some lights for the house. So like lights behind the camera to be able to fully illuminate my face um, from doing a quick browse right now. I believe you can get them for about $100. Um, I live in a small apartment, so the space isn't the best um, for storing them, but with time, they might come. I can't decide yet, but um, it is on my list of things that I would like to purchase. Um, and then ideally as well, depending on how everything goes, having a different space for um, filming would be nice as well. So personally, I just film in my living room um, and then that again is free. Um, and I know that other yoga teachers will rent out Airbnbs or rent out specific studio spaces to film their, pro their classes. Um, so that is additional fees for them as well. Um, that's not currently the way that I'm filming my classes, but it's definitely possible. Um, looking for the experience depends on the qual the space that you already have, the availability, how quiet is it? Are you sharing it with other people in the space? Do you need them to be quiet while you're filming? All those types of things. So things to consider um, for filming as well. I hope you found that helpful. Hope you found that interesting. If you have any other questions about starting a yoga teacher YouTube channel or filming free classes or even just filming classes um, on YouTube, please let me know. Um, I'd be very interested to hear what other questions you may have. And if you have completely other different questions that you'd like to know more of for this new type of vlog series, please let me know. Um, also very interested to hear from you. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day and take care until next time. Bye.